Hi, welcome to Cat TV5 video tutorial. It's the fourth part of my trolley series. If you take a look at my assembly right now, I've added some simplified bearings. Yeah. At the necessary positions. Okay. I think I have not to show it how to do it. So I can save some time. So if you want to do kinematics, there is an option to convert your assembly constraints into kinematic joints. But, there's a big but, the program will not produce the joints which you want. Because I will need revolute joints, I will need for sure rigid joints and most importantly I will need roll curve joints and these roll curve joints are by no means automatically created. For example if I open this sub assembly in a new window I could convert these constraints into kinematic joints. Just go right here assembly constraints conversion make a new mechanism Okay, you could go step by step or just create them all. If you go step by step, you can confirm the joints and add a command, but big but I cannot change the kinematic joints. So I could go for auto create as well okay and the program has converted the constraints from my assembly into kinematic joints but you see there is no for example row curve joint so I would have to check all these joints and maybe edit them that's the very very tedious so I think that's not a good idea. So what I will do next is I will publish some elements of the parts so they are easier to select and easier to recognize. For example these curves and the axis of all the rotating elements. So let's prepare our parts for the kinematic joints. So maybe I would change back to assembly design and let's begin with this part. I think I will not need, yeah for sure I would need the axis. So I will publish one axis and make one axis in this part. So just open this part you could do it in a new window and there it is so I need an axis and that would be that axis and maybe publish publish one of these faces or the mid plane let's check there are the planes because I didn't do this part yeah that's not the one I want so maybe I do a plane as well okay so let's add some reference elements first one would be an axis uh, could go point to point, that's okay. So first point should be a circle sphere ellipse center point and that might be this one. Okay, and the second point would be 
again maybe this one confirm and I got an access next I want to have a mid plane and maybe that plane as well so let's add a plane that plane might be a mid plane let's check is there a mid plane equation not really but I could put it on that axis so make it normal to curve that would be the curve and the default point is the midpoint that's okay so confirm and maybe that axis as well so let's go for another axis and that might be point direction yes the point would be again a center point that center point that's not a circle oh that's crazy that should be a circle okay maybe that's a circle that is a circle so confirm direction would be normal to this plane or the same as this one and reverse direction and maybe make it 50 that's okay and I might need a plane as well right here so let's make a plane I could use the face but I don't want to use faces so maybe through a planar curve and use that edge confirm and maybe this one as well plane offset from plane and the offset might be zero okay now let's publish these elements go for tool publication and I want to publish this axis that axis this plane that plane and that plane now I could rename them this would be main axis trolley I, I, I name this trolley then this would be the engine axis engine axis that would be the trolley mid plane mid plane trolley so maybe I might change this to trolley main axis or axis yeah that's okay main axis trolleys mid plane trolley so this one should be different axis engine axis engine and that's plane engine and this might be and maybe I call this uh, No, the trolley plane, plane trolley, plane. Mm. 
load plane. Yeah, load plane. Now let's call it plane load to be consistent with my names and confirm and now I got this outside I could save this one and close this one so I could select these elements right here I don't have to go and look for my elements in the model so next will be the main shaft let's open this one up in a new window and I would need an axis by two points so select create midpoint right here confirm and on the other end as well There's already a point because I made already one, so I got already two points. So I could just select this one and got my axis. Now let's. You see, don't use all the geometrical sets. I didn't change the parts. So let's go to publication and let's publish this one, and that would be. the main or axis main shaft confirm and save and yeah might need a mid plane as well or some sort of plane right here and there to get my joints so I might go for plane or two planes whatever you want or just the mid plane I'm not quite sure which one to use yeah maybe I go for the mid plane let's see maybe these planes are in the right place no they are not You should part do part like this symmetric and not at the end. So let's do a mid plane. And that would be let's go for normal to curve. Select the curve and I got the mid plane. And let's publish this one as well. And that would be in the mid plane shaft. And confirm and save. close this one okay and I got these publications let's see the gear motor there's the gear motor though that's the gear I would need the axis and the mid plane of course so let's open this one you see that's very tedious but it's much easier to do with these published elements open a new window Let's go for an axis. Yeah. And of course, you should do all your parts with an axis system and not with planes. Not with these three planes, but with axis systems. Okay, but I don't want to do all the parts. So let's go for an axis. And that would be point to point, that's okay just lock that 
lock it and the center point of this one no really we have to lock this one as well and go for circle sphere lips take this one confirm and again create point right here confirm okay and make a plane normal to that curve as mid plane see usually if you do an audit and not audit a normal or geometrical set these elements would be in a geometrical set and all the solids are in the body so don't use ordered geometrical sets and that's okay now let's publish these two go to publication this one that one and that's the axis of the motor gear axis gear motor and the plane would be the axis mid plane mid plane axis gear motor and save this file so what I need to do and what I need you to do is to publish all the axes of all the elements of the wheels of the gears of the bearings and also publish at least one plane at best would be the mid plane so I don't think it's necessary to do a video on all these publications I think you could do it for yourself so I will do it you should do it and I will see you to the next video where we'll try to get some kinematic joints into this assembly and see how it works out so hope it was useful hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching if you like it give it a like down below or just leave a comment see you to the next one in the series bye bye